This is Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, and Jamar Chase. And before the NFL, they were all on the same college football team, creating possibly the greatest team of all time. But after getting drafted, they all split apart. So today, I'm going to reunite them all on one NFL team in hopes of recreating what they did at LSU in 2019. This video can't end until we win a Super Bowl. So uh, without further ado, let's hurry up and get started. Okay, well, Justin Jefferson's now on the Bengals. He's a 99 overall. Jamar Chase is right behind him at a 94 overall. And here's the man himself, Joe Burrow. Burrow, he is at a 96 overall. We have a team constructed of Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, and Jamar Chase. But unfortunately for us, week one would not end how we planned it would. 31 to 28. We already lose our first game. Okay. However, there would be some bright spots to take away from this game. Okay, yeah, Joe Burrow had almost a flawless game, throwing for 357 yards and three touchdowns. And whereas Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson would nearly have all of those yards. To Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. The fact that these two were teammates at some point is actually absurd. And whereas Justin Jefferson's debut will result in two touchdowns, the Bengals were still winless heading into week two. Okay, we're 0-1 and, and the Ravens are 1-0. However, week two would also end in a similar fashion as week one as the Bengals defense did Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and Joe Burrow zero favors in a 31-17 loss. Okay, well, the defense is struggling yet again. And unfortunately for Jamar Chase, he was giving everything he had. Dude, he's had us. He has 152 receiving yards with two touchdowns. Jettis obviously didn't have the greatest game, but he didn't need to when Jamar Chase is 152 yards. And all of the Bengals would start off slow. They'd end the season with 11 wins. touchdowns for Jettas. He would only have 1,200 yards, but I mean, dude, 17 touchdowns is insane. That has to be Offensive Player of the Year-esque. I mean, honestly, if he doesn't win it, I don't know who will. And not only would the Cincinnati Bengals stuff the season stat sheets, but they would also stuff this wild card stat sheet as they would march into Arrowhead and turn it back into Burrowhead with this 26-6 victory over the Chiefs. Balance has officially been restored in Arrowhead. It is now back to Burrowhead. And well, of course, you know who stole the show. Justin Jefferson with the cool nine receptions for 120 yards. And the thing is, Jamar Chase only had four receptions for 41 yards, but he did have a touchdown. But the thing is, is that either one of them will have a good game. Like if Jamar has an off game, Justin's going to step right in his place and vice versa. They are just so OP together. And after our first playoff game, the big three would have multiple upgrades to spend on. Okay, well, Joe Burrow is just going up there in overall. He's going to reach the 99 overall club, whereas Jamar Chase still needed a little bit more to go. And and his teammate is at a 98 overall, dude. We are so close to getting to a 99 overall with Jamar. It was now time to look to the divisional round. Oh, why do we have to face off against the Baltimore Ravens this year? I mean, they're 14 and three, dude. And although Burrow, Jefferson, and Chase have all played in big games together, this was the NFL and not college. So they still had a little bit more gelling to do. 27 to three. <laughs> this wasn't even close. Same, Zach. Neither Jamar or Jettis would have a solid game at all. This was just nasty. However, the season wouldn't end in total disappointment appointment for the Bengals. Hey, Joe Burrow made the Pro Bowl. Dustin Jefferson made the Pro Bowl. And Jamar Chase made the Pro Bowl. Dude, all three of them made the Pro Bowl. That is so sick. And heading into season two, with the big three looking to make another run, this season wouldn't start off as planned. But we are three and four. We are three and four. And unlike college at the time, we actually have to pay these guys. Justin Jefferson remains interested in re-signing here. Jamar Chase also remains interested. And so I would end up getting these deals out the way before they became too much of an issue. Okay, well, Justin Justin Jefferson's here to stay. Okay, Jamar Chase is here to stay as well. It would be a shame if Jamar Chase actually got pretty upset and frustrated with his role in the team. Nah, I'm open. I'm always open. However, despite getting the contract situations out the way, we would fail to make the playoffs, finishing with a record of 10 and 7. Okay, well, I mean, we went 10 and 7, but we just somehow didn't make the playoffs, which wouldn't make much sense as Joe Burrow would have a pretty phenomenal year. All right, yeah, 4,000 yards for Joe Burrow yet again and 37 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. This yes, man sir. is playing. Playing really well. And I wonder why. Justin Jefferson had 19 touchdowns this year. This man is almost breaking the NFL record for single season receiving touchdowns. And 
Jamar Chase would follow that up with a thousand yards and four touchdowns. Not the greatest for Jamar, but it, it's it's hard when Justin Jefferson's on your team, I can't lie. However, despite the poor season, we would have some major upgrades. All right, Joe Burrow's up to a 99 overall. And whereas the same would go for his teammate. Jamar Chase is now a 99 overall. He is officially in the 99 overall club for the first time. And now with the big three all entering the 99 overall club, the playoffs were still far from reach. How are we falling to seven and 10, man? We have Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Josh Jefferson all on the same team. We should not be seven and 10. Despite the record, Joe Burrow would finish fifth in the MVP voting. However, this roster was too talented to not make the playoffs. I mean, with Joe Burrow, Jamar, and Jettas all at 99 overall, like there is no excuse to not make the playoffs. All right, well, we're 12 and five hosting the Miami Dolphins. We ended up winning the division at 12 and five. Love to see it. And these stats would well be, you know, just as you expect it. Joe Burrow with another 4,000 yards and 32 touchdowns, two interceptions. This yes, man is sir. playing out of his mind. But the same couldn't be said for Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. Okay, why do we have less than a thousand yards, first of all? Yeah, no, why why do we have 800 yards, Justin Jefferson? That is not good. But nonetheless, that was not much of a worry. Yes, the Bengals were winning games, as they were in the playoffs for a reason. All right, 7-7, seven, seven, boys, please. Let's just play some defense and get Joe Burrow and Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase the ball. As the Bengals would continue their winning ways heading into the playoffs, defeating two attack of Iloa and the Miami Dolphins in the very first round of the playoffs. 24 to 21. Joe Burrow with a pretty solid game going 19 for 30 with 221 yards. Three touchdowns, zero interceptions. It's pretty solid. And Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase would catch two of those while having some pretty mediocre stat lines. Yeah, Justin Jefferson with 50 yards and a touchdown while Jamar Chase also had 50 yards. Just, yeah, they are literally the same person with the exact same stat line pretty much. But there was little complaining about that as the Bengals were winning and they were moving on in the playoffs. Okay, well, the 12 and five Cincinnati Bengals face off against the 12 and five Kansas City Chiefs. The Bengals know this face really well. And anyone who attended this game would get their money's worth. As it was nonstop action with Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes going back and forth and back and forth, just enough for the Cincinnati Bengals to secure a 35 to 33 victory. Okay, Joe Burrow, 232 yards and two touchdowns. Not shabby. And just like that, it was time for the AFC Conference Championship. Okay, well, we're facing off against the 16-1 Jacksonville Jaguars. And what's ironic enough is that we are facing off against Trevor Lawrence. And this is who Joe Burrow beats in the National Championship. So I was pretty certain that Trevor Lawrence was trying to get his revenge. Okay, please, gents, come on. We, we, we've we beat Trevor Lawrence before in a big game. We can do it again. Which is not if we're going to give up 10 points and not kick any or not score any touchdowns. This is going back and forth. We still have the lead. The Jaguars have the lead. And with the Bengals down by one, it was time to see what Joe Burrow was made of. Okay, Joe Shiesty throwing down field two. I don't even know who that was, but it just got broken up. It's third and 13, man. We just need, we just need a couple more yards. And a couple more yards is what we were going to get. Dude, Joe, okay. And with the massive run, this was set up the Bengals on the three yard line. Okay, well, we were just going to walk in and score. It's probably wasn't the smartest because they can just march down the field and possibly score a touchdown. And with the chance to make it a seven-point game, okay, we're gonna pitch it to 32, and he's gonna get in the end zone. Okay, so that is some insurance at least. And with 40 seconds left, Trevor Lawrence was tasked with the legacy drive. All right, Trevor Lawrence evading the pocket, throwing down field, and it's almost intercepted. He is so lucky 21 did not pick that off. All right, Trevor Lawrence dropping back deep, finding a... And completion. Okay. We just need two more stops and we're going to the Super Bowl, gentlemen. Okay, Trevor Lawrence gonna drop deep and he's gonna find Calvin Ridley who cannot catch it. And on the final play of the game, Trevor Lawrence just did not want to win at all. He just has no dog in him. And just like that, 32 to 25, the boys are headed to the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow has defeated Trevor Lawrence in yet another big game. And with Joe Burrow having one of the best games of his life, I noticed something was off. Okay, why does Justin Jefferson only have two receptions for 23 yards? And why does Jamar Chase don't have a single reception. Why are they not getting receptions? And just like that, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase were back in the Super Bowl, but this time they would bring Justin Jefferson along with them. Okay, somehow in this universe, the Chicago Bears made the Super Bowl at 14 and three. I could not tell you how that happened, but it did. I mean, their quarterback is an 87 overall, Justin Fields. So I honestly don't even know how they made it. The highest overall player in the roster is 93 overall, Tremaine Edmonds. DJ Moore is a 92, Carlson Davis. I mean, I have no clue how they made it. Nonetheless, it was time for a big three to step up and win a Super Bowl. Okay, it's all come down to this moment. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Justin Jefferson. You have to step 
step up, you have to step up, and you most certainly have to step up because you are the quarterback. Okay, come on, Cincinnati Bengals. We have to win this for not only you guys, but also for the LSU team. We made it to the Super Bowl, and we are... Oh, it's looking, it's looking solid, guys. It is looking solid, dude. Joe Burrow must be putting on a master class, and a master class he would be putting on is he would lead the Bengals to a shootout victory, allowing the Bengals to be Super Bowl champions. We finally did it. We're Super Bowl champions. We somehow defeat the 14 and 3 Chicago Bears. Oh my god, look at everybody celebrating, man. Oh, look at Jamar and Joe Burrow right there. Yep, look, yep, look at the trophy. Look at the trophy. Joe Burrow, you deserve to hold up that trophy, man. Hold it up as high as you can because you deserve it. But it wouldn't have came how you expected. Okay, I mean, Justin Jefferson had 100 yards and two touchdowns. But, I mean, Jamar Chase didn't really do anything. 34 yards and a touchdown? I mean, the touchdowns are cool. I mean, that's definitely what wins the game is the touchdowns, not the yards. But, like, that's just actually crazy that we managed to put up that many points. And they didn't even have that many yards. But that's going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like this, let me know. But if you enjoyed this one, you'll definitely enjoy Justin Jefferson when I randomized his entire career right here. Just click right here. You don't want to miss it. That one was a heater, just like the one you just watched. So go ahead and click right here.